Stadden Farm Nurseries is a small specialist family-run nursery. We have a national collection of Japanese cultivars for Primula sibboldii. You will not find these readily um, for sale in the garden centres. However, I do maintain if you can grow primroses, then you should have no difficulty in growing these. Give them an area which is sort of edge of woodland, dappled shade and somewhere that doesn't dry out completely. If you're able to offer them a covering of leaf mould, even better. During the summer months, they will die right back and go underground and then reappear the following spring. So where do these little primulas originate from? Well, they're endemic to East Asia, particularly Japan, and they're often found growing on plateaus or floodplains. However, sadly, they are now quite endangered and you only find them in a few protected locations. However, they were known as the Sakrasu, which is the cherry blossom primula. Now this dates back to the Edo period in Japan and this is when the Shogun started to uh, take gardening quite seriously and plants that they put in the gardens they quite often then started cultivation programs. Now the little wild Primula Cyboldii um, originally was pink with a white edge and as you can see there's now quite a range of colours from whites, pinks and even some, um, some blues. They're not all round uh, lobe flowers and um, there are some quite interesting snowflake with different edgings and there are some as you can see here with quite marked um, dark background back, back, uh, back to the reverse of the petals and white faces. Now in our collection we do have a few that we can trace back to the Edo period. This is the one here, uh, no furry. Um, as you probably can see it's got a little green edging in the petals and um, there's this one here Miho no Koji which is quite a stunner with a very dark reverse to the petals and to extremes there's this one here if we can find her Shishifungin now that's it in its fully opened form so how did the name Primula Cyboldii come about? Well, that's to do with um, Mr. Cybold back in the 1820s who went over to Japan collecting fauna and flora and um, came across this little Primula. He's responsible for introducing such plants as the hostas into Europe. Um, you probably know things like Magnolia Cyboldii. Um, he also smuggled back tea plants and he's also responsible for bringing back the infamous Japanese knotweed. However, for us, more importantly, he brought back a whole selection of these little Sacrosu primulas and since then they have then been named Primula Cyboldii. Like the auriculas, the Primula Cyboldii, when they were first introduced into the UK, they were grown as florist flowers um, and once picked will actually last for up to two weeks in water. The earliest records we can find date back to 1886 in a nursery catalogue from York um, which had something like 33 cultivars listed, however sadly we can find no record of any of these today. As you can see here there are many different colours and flower forms, um, all in their own right absolutely exquisite. So you have the snowflakes, you have the lobe forms, but even within that there's different types of lobing, um, different shades, some with white edges. There's one there that's um, what we call it's sporting. Now each flower could be slightly different, it has a raspberry ripple, but some could even just be um, quite dark pink or pure white. These are quite cherished forms in Japan. Um, we do have um, this one here. It's what we would deem to be a double, um, however they're not rated very highly in Japan. So to summarise, these are really good garden worthy plants, totally frost hardy. Um, treat them as edge of woodland, dappled shade and they will reward you for years. Um, they won't come true from seed, so if you want the name varieties you'll have to do it by division, but do that once they go dormant over the summer period. Very easy to tease apart and uh, replant. Um, if you need more information, please do contact us. Um, we do have uh, the website, it's penniesprimulars.co.uk. There's quite a nice gallery of uh, photos there, um, and if you need more information, please do contact us. Thank you.